Hey everyone, it's Greg again from D-Link and today I'm going to be showing you how to enable email notifications on your My D-Link camera. Now in this example we're going to be using the DCS 942L, however if you have a different camera the setup steps should pretty much be the same. Now the first thing you need to do is log into your camera. If you're not sure how to do this, please check out our other videos. But once you've logged in, first thing you want to do is click on the setup tab at the top. And then on the left hand side we have a couple different options. So with the DCS942L or really any other my dealing camera, there's two different types of notifications that can be set up. First you have your snapshot notification, which would be still images or just screen captures of your camera, or you can do video clips. But in this example we're going to be doing snapshots, so I'm going to click on the snapshot link on the left. And from here you just want to put a check in the snapshot box. And now we have a couple other options here. So first one being trigger by. So here we can configure when the emails are going to be sent. So the options that are available are motion, schedule, or always. So if you have motion detection set up, you can configure the camera to only send you images when motion is detected. You can do it on a schedule, you know, certain days of the week, or just have it always do it. So again, in this example, we're going to go with always. Next, we have the snapshot type. In this example, we're going to stick with the single snapshot, but if I wanted to, you could also have it send six. And lastly, for the target, we want to set up the email. So we're going to put a check in the email box. So the first thing we need to do is enter in a recipient email. So this is the email address that the email will be sent to. So I'm just entering my email there. And then for the SMTP mail server, this is going to be the SMTP mail server address of the email service that you're using. So in this example, we're gonna be using Gmail. So I'm gonna enter in Gmail's SMTP server. Next, we need to know what port that they're using. Gmail uses port 465, so I'm just gonna enter that in. And then here you have your username and password. Now the username and password you need to enter here is for the email account that's going to be sending out those emails. So here I'm gonna enter in my username. And the password for my email account. Next you have your sender email address. This is going to be the email address that's associated with the username and the password. So again, I'm just using my own. For the interval, this is for specifying how often pictures are going to be sent. It's defaulted to 600, just going to leave it at that. And lastly, we have the use SSL TLS. Now this will depend on the email service that you're using. However, Gmail does use SSL TLS, so I'm going to select that. And just to confirm that all your settings are correct, you can just click on the test button right below it. It'll just take a moment to run the test. And you'll see here, if you scroll up to the top here, it gave you the message, send a test mail successfully. So you know your settings are correct. Next, you just wanna click on the save settings button to apply the settings. Next, if we go to our e email account, we should see our email there. For more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.